Uh, first of all, I want to apologize to my parents for telling the truth. You father crying goals. You father crying goals. I was by my parents' house. Everybody's playing and having fun. My dad's talking and my daughter, Amala, the three-year-old, tells my dad to be quiet. My mouth fainted. All the clocks stopped. The sun sank beneath the clouds. The room started spinning. My childhood flashed before my eyes. I almost soiled myself and... My dad calmly told her that it wasn't a nice thing to say to Papa, Grandmommy, Daddy, or Mommy. And then she apologized and continued to play. That was the day I realized grandparents will love their grandkids more than they ever loved me. If y'all follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, then you've seen this already. But what got me was the comments. Deborah's mom came to visit one day. How's my baby doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing fine. I wasn't talking about you. Short and Sweet Tay split her eye open when she was nine years old and needed stitches. But her parents are like, nah, you ain't going to the hospital. We'll take care of that ourselves. But her child gets a cough and they trying to get her into the doctor. Candace knows about this too. Her husband said that her mother seemed worse than his drill instructors. But guess what? Their two-year-old daughter spits on the mother. When Candace wanted to go punish her, the grandma came in and was like, no, 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 no. Leave my baby alone. Sarah's mom had a beauty shop downstairs and none of them were ever allowed to under any circumstances touch that equipment or play in that chair. But guess what? Every time the grandkids come over where they playing at. I had no idea this was a worldwide epidemic. I didn't know that you all could relate <laughs> to the pain of <laughs> Leslie Lee, she was in a car accident, right? The son was okay, but she was the one that got injured. She was strapped to a backboard in a neck brace. Then the ER, she hears her mother yelling out, where's my baby? Is my baby okay? Where's my baby at? You know, and after a few minutes of not seeing her mom come to her, she realized that the mom was talking about her baby, her son. Not her. Viva says her daughter lifted a hand to her mother and was only spoken to about it. Only spoken to. Do, do you all realize if I, if I even pretended to lift my hand towards my parent, if I even jokingly right now as a grown man were to, were to tell my parents to be quiet, do you understand what would happen to me right now? Mike says they took out all their aggression on you when you were a kid, so they ain't, they ain't got anything left for the grandkids. I guess they're older and want to get into heaven now. Sherry says grandparents and grandkids bond so well because they have a common enemy. And you know what? I'm going to go talk to them right now. Hey. Hey, st stop playing. I know you awake. I know you're awake, okay? Look, just go ahead and get up. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask both of y'all a question, actually. All right, fine. Anyway, Nayeli. Yeah. You're, you're a daddy's girl, right? Uh -huh. What? I guess. You guess? <gasps> Okay, I thought you were asleep. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to know like who y'all love more. Papa. You you didn't give me a chance to finish the question. I'll tell you. you sound tired. Just go back to sleep. I said go back to sl sleep. <clears throat> Sorry, just go back to sleep. Anyway, uh You think they love y'all more than hey. Kimberly Thompson has had two heart attacks in her lifetime. Now her mom is older, she didn't really want her drive and all that distance to come see her in the hospital, but her son needed to get some dental work done. And here comes grandmommy wanting to make sure that he's comfortable because you know how dental work procedures can be painful, you, anything can happen. 